Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and this is Lumber Tycoon 2. But before I get started, I've got a huge announcement and a couple of fan letters that I want to read off and just get this stuff all to you because it's been very exciting as of lately. Okay, so there were nine total winners of the, um, the 50k Rookie X giveaway. Since then, we are up to, like, what is it, 50... 1,000 something, 60,000, it's a lot of people. 60, 61,000? I don't even know. I'm like, it's just, oh my gosh. So, this was back in September that I did the giveaway, and it's been over a month, and two people have not claimed. So, Brandon, um, from England, I'm sorry. I've tried to contact you multiple times. It's, I've gotta pick somebody else. J, uh, J. M. Harris, uh, same thing. I've tried sending out multitude, multitudes of emails to try and get a hold of you, no response. So I have to go and reselect those two people. Now I'm not gonna display it on screen. Um, actually, yeah, I, I will show it afterwards, but it's I'll take like a screenshot of the winners themselves and the numbers that they're on. So let's see, the number three winner, Brandon, Brandon. It says winner. I'm going to click the little down box and I'm going to do repick win. Uh, this will revoke the win and pick another. Are you sure? Yes. Do, 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 do. Waiting for it to refresh now. There we go. There we go. Uh, <laughs> congratulations, Jeninua. Gordino, oh my gosh. Car, 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 wow. Okay, I, w I will come back to that. I will announce the name and I will take like a screenshot and mark out like the, the email and stuff, but I will, I will send it to you and show you. Um, next one doo -doo 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 -doo, was J.M. Harris. J.M. Harris. And just double check, double check, double check, and click the down box. Repick the winner. And the reason I'm repicking the winner and not doing the whole thing over again is because you guys have already put in the effort. You've already done all the work to try and get your entries in there. So if you were in there during that time, are you sure you want to pick this? Yes. So it is repicking the winner right now. Good, good. All right, so number five, CJ Smith. CJ Smith out of the United States. Oh my goodness. So <clears throat> let me grab a snip. Oh my gosh, how, how am I going to do this? Um, here we go. Okay, let's pull this over here. I'm going to switch over to the scene. I know this is kind of boring, but you know what? I don't edit at all, ever. So um, let's go to window capture. There we go. And then I'm going to select the window capture. No, I'm going to select the window capture. There we go. And right here. Oh gosh, come here. Oh, uh, uh, this is horrible, horrible. Okay, how do I restore? Uh, transform and reset transform. There we go. And now number three, because I cannot pronounce the name. I have no clue. Right here. Oh gosh. And here. And go. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, <clears throat> fade this in. <laughs> I cannot pronounce the name. I'm I'm horrible with like normal names, like C J Smith gave me a little bit of difficulty. So this right here, I will be contacting you at the email that you provided because it is listed and I don't want to display that on the screen. So that person right there, if that's your name, guess what? You just won. Oh, bam! One of the rookie axes, amazing. Oh my gosh, it's like going all crazy stuff. And it's got my signature on it already because I signed all the axes before sending them out. That one's yours. Now, let's uh, hide that. Hold on one second, hold on. Hold on, fade that out. Fade, fade, fade. 
And then we're going to recapture that second name. By the way, you were the 300th and 301st entry on the competition. And then here we go for winner number five. Scroll down a little bit. You were 727. Boop. Fade this in. CJ Smith. Bonus entry for subscribers. So that is this one is yours yay and it's got a signature on it as well so i will get a hold of you and uh, if you're under the age of 13 i will get permission from your parents and do all that cool stuff and we will get you a rookie axe going um yes yes amazing oh wait i haven't like i gotta turn that off first uh turn off the window capture fade out fade 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 Next order of business in this episode of Amazing Lumber Tycoon 2. Um, code Primate. Fan letters. Okay, I have three of them. I have not stopped by the, um... That's it. Okay. I have not stopped by the post office yet, but I will read these aloud. Uh, okay, here we go. Um... Roblox username. All right, this is Casey Lee. Hello, Code. This is Casey. And I just wanted to say that you are the best YouTuber I have ever seen. You make great content on your channel, and my favorite video of, uh, was all of the streams that I was in. Also, you should start doing more vlogs or Lua scripting videos. Hope you are having a great day from Casey. And then it's got in here, and I was wondering if I should read this, but I will. Also, uh, P.S. Also, can I please get unbanned from your Discord? I think I was banned for, uh, banned from exploiting. And if I was, I won't do it again. If you do return this code, can you please sign the area below? And then they wrote a little signature, like sign here thing. So, Casey Lee, um, let me talk with my admins because we have a list of people and why they were banned and things and we got other things in place. <sighs> let me find out the reasoning. I have your name. And next, by the way, I already, um, I think I already responded to yours. The next ones I have not responded to yet. Oh gosh. Okay. Is that? Okay. And there's, there's that. Um, but I will, like anybody who does write me. I will respond with a letter back to you and my signature on the letter itself. So I, I will try my best to keep up with the fan mail. Um, if it gets ridiculous, then I'll, I'll have to stop. But um, I, I've already bought stamps and stuff. To code from MK, from Kayla. Code, can you send back a letter, please? I will. Um, I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna keep this letter and There's actually there's like three parts to this. She drew a little heart Like with the the red and the green look at that. That's amazing. Hold on. I'm worried about my character getting disconnected We are going to go do the maze tonight by the way, but there's there's that and next up coffee Definitely coffee coffee time coffee's good <laughs> How far are you? we're eight minutes in Wow Hopefully it takes me less time to do the thing. Um, the cave. I hope it only takes like 15 minutes. Okay, this says for code. Hi code, I am your big fan. I have been watching you from oh, for a year, and you are the best YouTuber from Kayla, uh, from K's Kid Show. I've been watching you since episode one, and I love your channel so much. I have a YouTube channel too. It's K's Kid Show. Can you comment? And then drew a little picture of a rookie axe down there at the bottom. That is awesome. We were just talking about rookie axes. And then there was an extra page that was thrown in here, and it's a little drawing of my character, Roblox Code. Right there. It looks so amazing. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I will give this to Hope because it says for Hope on the back. For Hope. 
And hope if you're watching, you you got fan mail too. <laughs> All right, hang tight. I gotta get this back in there. I opened this one in a different way because I realized opening them like this like rips up the the return address, and I need to write you guys back. So I'll keep that right there. And then this one right here uh, is from. Hold on. From Parker. Dear Code, hello. My name is Parker, and I came to your channel by accident. Originally, I started watching Dark J first. Then I came to your channel and thought that it was his old channel until I realized that the whole new it was a whole new channel, and I was kind of stupid not seeing the face cam slash face difference. Don't call yourself stupid, okay? Me and Dark J get mixed up all the time. I'm like, wait, aren't you, aren't you Code? I started to get attached to your channel instead and stopped watching Dark J. Uh, Dark J, if you're listening, I'm sorry. I have watched you every day, even your live streams. Also, I got so happy when you said hello to me, mostly because that is the first time that a YouTuber had, has ever said hello to me besides another streamer where I was 75% of the crowd most of the time, but the other I was 100% of the crowd. Anyways, I would like to inform you that this is the first fan mail, and to be honest, the first letter that I have ever sent. I, w I was with you when you had 10k subs, and adding a side note, I like to watch Lumber Tycoon 2 Samper Life Edition with pretzels and Kool-Aid. A big fan, Parker. Aw, thank you, Parker. This is amazing. Now, I think I've got, I will get you a, um, I will write you a letter back, and I will sign it and do all that good stuff. Okay. So that is it for the fan mail tonight. I think I've got another one somewhere like stashed away. It might be up with my keys or something, but um, I will continue to do these. And I think I'm going to do them on Wednesdays, not the giveaways, but the, the fan mail stuff. So we can, we can have like fan mail Wednesdays. So tell me what you think down in the comments. Do you, do you want, do you like me reading them out loud? Do you not want me to read them out that loud? If you do send me a letter, be aware that it could possibly end up on a video. So, yeah, that's that. Let's do this. Okay, so um, I'm going to be going down to, the actual reason that I'm over here is because I need neon white wires over there at Link's Logic. But while I'm here, <clears throat> there's a lot of people saying that they were getting lost in the caves again. So I'm going to show you the path that I take to find all the doors and find which one's open. Once I have one that's open, then I take that path just to keep going. But before we do, we're gonna have to turn on, let's see, Roblox, Roblox, Roblox. Go to filters, color correction, close. Oh, oh, close. And I know it's really bright, just bear with me for just a second. There you go. And we are heading down into the tunnels. Whoa, the physics has changed, by the way. So we are, we are heading down, down, down. Whoa. Karin says, code! Oh no! Shh, I'm recording. I forgot to change my link. <laughs> okay. Shh, I'm recording. Kieran, Karen, Karen, Karen. <laughs> Shh, I'm recording. Okay, let me switch over to this and okay we need to switch back over to the color correction filters and we're going to turn correction gamma all the way up like that contrast contrast needs to be all the way up and brightness ooh, brightness we can turn down there we go okay so if you guys don't know what the filters are inside OBS um, you select the one that's the Roblox thing, right click on it, and select um, filters at the very bottom. Add color correction. And the color correction allows you to adjust gamma, brightness, contrast, all that good stuff. So now I've, I've got, um, oh wait, here, let me get out of studio mode. I've got the actual, or the actual screen in front of me, and it's, it's pitch black. Like stuff that's on my laptop screen shows up darker than, than the other stuff and stuff that's over in OBS right now 
is much brighter. Wow. So wait, where did I come from? Okay. So here's the ramp leading down. Okay, and there's two paths you can take. You can go left or you can go right. We're going to take this path off to the right. This path right here to the left, it goes in a big circle to the path to the right. So hang this direction, stay to the left. Um, real quick, that path goes up to like a back way and the other thing to the left, um, the, the cave area or the, the path that goes to the safari. What we're doing right now is we're going to go over to door one, door number one. Now I always do this on a Wednesday. Okay, not bad. So this right here is door number one. Okay, door number one this week is open. So when you're watching this, you should be able to go up to door number one. Now, if door number one was closed, you'd come down this direction. All right, right there's the path that we came through. Head straight down, take a left, then a right, and then another right. And it kind of goes into this Y shape. Like, oh gosh. And now this Y at the very bottom of this, it's like a wishbone. This goes to a long path going left and right. System, your friend Alex is joining the game. No, why are people joining? Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Shh, I'm recording. <laughs> so, right here, I, okay. I was also asked by one of the fans, Hayden, thank you very much for your comment. And yes, I will play public servers much more often than I have been. So this one right here to the left, this is uh, Lo got you. <laughs> this is door number three. And just to the right, door number, oh, oh, wait, door number two. Okay, so this is door number two. This is, oh gosh, I don't wanna get stuck, hold on. I'm gonna get turned around here. Door number two, door number three. Now there's a long hallway that leads all the way back up to that first area. Right here is kind of like a little H pattern. And if you look straight ahead, boom. This is that little loop right there at the very beginning. Right here is the ramp goes up. And if you come over here to the left, there's the path that we took at the very beginning. And then this is the path that I said, oh, this is just a little loop right here, boom. And then here is, if you're looking at the map, there's like a little H pattern right here. That leads over to the other, like the first portion of the doors. Um, head south along this wall. Right there is the way to the um, boat shop. We're gonna stick away, to stay away from that. Right here is a long hallway to the right and to the left. This over to the right. Stay straight, do not go off down in there. You'll get completely lost, especially with big trucks. You'll get stuck. Stay off to the left and door number five, door number six. Oh, you can't see it. Hold on. Door number six, right there. And I don't, I don't tend to go all the way down these. And let's see. Oh, oh, don't want to go down there. That's that's the dangerous path. So stick to the straightaway. Now this is going to curve around door number seven or six and seven. There's door number seven and door number six, right there. And these black walls, they change with like days of the week and times and like all kinds of different things. There are different factors that turn those on and off and which door is gonna be open. Sometimes the entire path is closed off. And people in the past have been like, well, it's because somebody made a map of it. And no, not really. It's because of the logarithm that it uses to Open, open the doors, basically. Um, so, right, okay, sorry, sorry. I'm getting everybody lost. Here's the ramp, sorry. All right, we need to head to door number one and then find our way through. So, head off to the left right here and then long straightaway. This long straightaway is gonna come up to the right and it's gonna kinda hook around to door number one. Hook around and voila. Door number one usually is right here. In fact, I could probably see it if I turn on the shift lock. Uh, 
It's either below or above. Anyhow, it's it's right here. So let's go on around. We're gonna follow it to the left, right. Ooh, gosh, right here. And then at the bottom of this little triangle, there should be an entrance opening like this. This is gonna go around, and then we're gonna take an immediate right as soon as we come out. Oop, not there, not there, not there. Hold on, hold on. Immediate right, right here. Ooh. And then, oh, 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 keep going, keep going. Keep going to the right, there we go. And this, ta-da, is blue wood. Oh, it's so pretty. Somebody asked me the other day, what is your favorite thing to do in Lumber Tycoon 2? It really is coming down here and just sitting and watching this, the, the trees grow. Like, if I had a way of like keeping the AFK on, I would leave this up as like my background on my desktop. I would just work in front of it. Because I think these, these trees and the way they grow and the way that the, the particle effects, just all of this is just amazing. My other favorite thing that I used to love was going to the green box. And if you guys don't know what the green box is, just look up Code Primate, Heath Askins, green box, how to get the green box, and I do. It's amazingly fun. The green box is a lot of fun. You need to be able to obby and you need to be able to long plank really well. Anyhow, let's take you back on around. Let's take you back through the tour here. I'm just gonna head head on back into here. I'll, I'll come back and grab some blue wood before I leave. So right here's the confusing part where it all like it's tangled into different ways out. Stick to the left if it's on door one. Left, left is the door one. It's gonna jump around, jump around. Get out your seat and jump around, jump around. Now imagine this right here as a big little triangle and you're at the bottom of the triangle. So you need to turn right and go to the top of the triangle. Boop, like that. And right here is your way out, I think. Maybe, no, not there, sorry. Told you wrong. This right here is your way out. Boom. And right there's where door number one was. Door number one. Boom. Now, just in case, I'm gonna go back to the beginning of the map and show you door, uh, show you path one all over again. Because I think it's good to repetitive, repetitively do something so you get used to it. And if you're wondering like, how does he know the map so well? It's because I've traveled this thing like so much and I've gotten really good at it. Uh, plus filters. I mean, I can't lie, but the filters really do help. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so bright. Cover your eyes, everyone. Ah. Oh gosh, that's like really bright. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna turn around. Did anybody make it over here? I don't think anybody's made it over here. Oh, nobody else is in the game. Okay, heading back down. Here we go. And this is going to be a speed run for door number one. So this first little path you don't have to worry about. Absolutely nothing to worry about. It's a wonderful little path. And then it splits off. It's going to go to the left and to the right. We're going to stick to the right for door number one. Here we go. Left, right. Stick to the right. Stick to the right. Stick to the right. Now you get up here. Left. It's going to be a long hallway. And then it's going to hook around to the right. Here we go. Hooking to the right. There we go. And door number one is supposed to be right here. It's not, so we can go on through. Stick to the left. I don't think that's the way I took the last time. That's okay. Stick to the right. And stick to the left. And right here. There's going to be a little, little, little hallway kind of goes around and there's no break offs until you get to right here so there's no like branches that go anywhere else and then this is the blue wood ta-da back in the blue wood I'm just gonna go make a little victory lap here blue wood victory lap it's amazing wood it's an awesome thing I should probably pick some up while I'm here I mean we love blue wood Blue wood is amazing. 
electric wood, cave crawler wood, blue wood, ocean wood. I don't think it's ever been called ocean wood, but whatever you want to call it. It's known by many names. It's like me calling the rookie axe the shark axe. It's okay, it doesn't really matter. All right, back, take a left, left, follow this on around. It doesn't, you don't have to worry about it too much until it actually opens up into the split, which is right here. Stick to the right. Stick to the right. Stick to the left. Oh gosh. Stick to the right. And there's a little path to go in. Boop. Door number one, right there. And this is the hook. Stay to the left, right here, straight away. And get ready for that first immediate right. It's going to be just right around here in the corner. There we are. And straight on to the morning. We're out. We're heading up. Heading out of the cave once again. I'm going to get to this little flat part. I'm going to turn around. We've still got 26. All right, I'm at 26 minutes. I'm going to do it one more time. So this is, this is huge path number one memorization. As you're coming down into the cave, down into the cave, you got to the left and to the right. One more time. Go to the right, stick to the right, stick to the right, right, right. Follow this path, left. And straight on till morning. Go to the right, it's gonna hook around. Here we go. And hook. This, right here, this is door number one. Oop, blocked! Oh no, it's not blocked. Hey, we can go in. Come around the corner. Now, left, immediate left. So, right there, that should look familiar. That's, that's where we came out last time. Stick left here, stick right here. And, boom. As long as you've hit here, it's pretty much just a straight path until the turn for cave, for the, the cave crawler. So you don't have to worry about turns or anything like that until right here. And when you see all these splitting off and going different directions, you're like, Oh gosh, what did code say to do right here? Stick to the right. There we are. And wonderful. What a wonderful way to end the video. Oh gosh. Oh no. No, I don't want to chop the trees. Okay. <laughs> Here, let me uh, let me turn off the filter, so you can uh, enjoy the electric wood. Uh, hold on, where is it? Right click, go to filters. Um, color correction is off. So here's here's what I'm seeing on my screen, my actual screen. It's just this these beautiful blue specks just floating off, and oh, it's so great. Now. The sound, the music, is a bit odd, but that's okay. So pretty. Hashtag down below. Um, electric wood, or blue wood. Cave crawler, whatever you want. Thank you all for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. As we not only explain the paths, we destroyed path one like three times, back and forth, showing you how to get in here, and it's, it really is, it's going to be you traversing and getting to know the map. Um, if you go to the Wikia page, you can find maps. Um, there's one that is hand-drawn, and hand-drawn maps are perfectly okay. But there's a hand-drawn map with the doors, and they're labeled 1 through 7 or 1 through 8. I think there's 7 doors. Maybe. Um, don't forget to like, comment. Subscribe down below. If you'd like one of those awesome t-shirts with my face on it, check out the Hello Juniper link. If you'd like to purchase one of your own rookie axes, by the way, I do not get profit from this. Defaultio does not get profit from this. This is simply so you guys can get a rookie axe as a toy. Or pretend. Although I don't pretend with it. I'm like, this is a real rookie. This is totally real. Check out the Sturdy Guns link down in the description below. Um, I think that's it. That, that should be all. Oh, um, day seven of No Shave November. That video is coming up. Don't forget to check that out. I love you guys very much. I'm having a great time, and I'm going to go po play on some public servers now. So, have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <gasps> Outro.